G'day guys, Ziggy D here. A patch was released on the Path of Exile 3.0 beta today, coming with some new skill jams and some other changes. But uh, I wanted to make a quick video here to showcase one of the best changes. Volatile has finally, finally been redesigned. Volatile was always one of those mechanics that was just always kind of bullshit to die to. It was an instant explosion upon killing a mob that in some cases deals so much damage that it was impossible to mitigate on any character. Even your 15k energy shield build sometimes couldn't survive certain volatiles where damage mods were stacked. So a no skill unavoidable effect like that, that can deal so much damage, was not a good way to die. You want to die in Path of Exile and afterwards think I learned a lesson or that was pretty cool or that mob was really nasty, not just, eh, that's kind of bullshit. <laughs> so Voltar really needed a rework, it was a long time in the works and finally we now have it and the new design of this looks fantastic. So this is basically a Shaper Orb style of effect. So once you kill a Voltar monster, after a short arming time, about 0.2 seconds, when I uh, slow it down and go frame by frame in Vegas, so 0.2 seconds, arming time, an orb then starts floating towards you, chasing you down slowly. And then once it gets to you, and if, if essentially it touches your character's hitbox, it has a short dis uh, activating time or a detonating time of 0.2 seconds again. So once you touch it, after 0.2 seconds, it then explodes and deals its potentially massive chunk of volatile damage. In the footage here, I test some volatiles. This is just low level maps and with mobs with no real damage mods on them. So it's not dealing any damage, but you can imagine if this is one of those volatiles that deals 10K damage, right? That's gonna be, it's gonna be an interesting thing to deal with. I think that this is really good on kind of all ends of the spectrum too. It's a great change for melee. Melee often had no real way to deal with this. They had to like try and hit the mob with a ranged attack if they're using ranged attack. If you're actually playing name lock, then you have to like fall back and use a totem to kill volatiles because there's just no way to avoid that damage, right? And then on top of that, there's always that thing with Volatile where how do you actually recognize a, volatile, a mob even has Volatile if you're clearing pretty quickly, like you've made a fast clearing build, then you have to check every rare for that tiny bit of text at the top of the screen. There was no visual for that. Ugh. That doesn't matter now, at least. If you're playing melee, you're name locking an enemy, you will see the orb activate on top of you. You have 0.2 seconds to recognize that it is about to become active. And then once it becomes active, you have 0.2 seconds to move out of the way. So maybe you kill a volatile mob. You don't realize straight away, but then you've realized, hey, there's an activated orb on top of me. It's just about to detonate. Then you get out of the way. So you have a bit over 0.4 seconds to react to that at the very least. So that is a fantastic change for melee. It makes it a lot more fair for melee, especially name locking melee. The only thing I could suggest for an improvement in that regard, especially for when there's a lot of effects on screen, it might be easy to lose track of these orbs and people might still die as melee in those cases. I would like to see the sound effect for this amped up. So hopefully that's a change I can make. I'm definitely gonna pass my feedback on that along because the visuals and the designs and mechanics of this now is fantastic, but the audio effect of this could be much more noticeable, much like the shape orb ones with that kind of effect would be very nice uh, for kind of identifying that. If you hear that sound, that will strike terror into your heart and then you know that you need to get out of there. And it's also a really good change as a ranged character as well, because Volatile is not really a mechanic you engaged with very much as a ranged character unless you just happen to accidentally be close to the enemy. Most of the time you kill an enemy from halfway across the screen and you see it explode and you're like, well, that was never going to be a problem for me, right? I didn't engage with that mechanic at all. So you just completely, it's a complete non-issue. Now, however, you kill the volatile mob from across the screen and then the orb starts chasing you. And after a short activation, you get a chance to see it and recognize it and assess the other threats around your character at the time and then make a decision. Do you run to the orb and detonate it so that you can then position and fight other monsters? Or you're fighting other monsters, do you deal with them first while kind of kiting the orb around, don't let it touch you, don't let it touch you, move out of the way, pop your quicksilver, and then detonate it once things are safe. You have some decisions to make and it puts extra pressure on you. Although it's not quite as dangerous as, as melee, it is putting extra pressure on you. And if you're currently surrounded by like a beyond boss and a couple of other rares or something like that, and that orb's also chasing it, it's gonna force you to change your positioning and make a decision. And I quite like that. So as a new newly designed mechanic, this is exactly what Volatile needed. It's so good. I'm so happy about this change. I think just amping up that sound effect a little bit will make it perfect. So very much liking that. 
The only final word I want to say is that I really would like to see Detonate Dead get the same treatment. It doesn't have to be the exact same mechanic, but something like that, where there's a bit of a visual tell that a corpse is about to explode. It's got that kind of activation time. You see the corpse begin to tremble and, you know, grow, and then some energy start to expel from it. Maybe, if, like, the light starts to expand from the corpse, and then the corpse explodes. That would be perfect, because I always think back to that time that I was killed in a one-week race by a corpse of a boss being detonated by a totem that was off-screen, and that just felt so rotten. One of my least favorite deaths in Path of Exile of all time was Detonate Dead, and if it got the same treatment as Voltile here, where you had some, you know, chance to react to it and play skillfully, then that would be fantastic as well. So I hope we see that as well. Definitely going to pass that feedback along too. Anyway guys, I thought you'd like a look, quick look at this. And that is going to be it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching. God, it was the fucking detonate totem. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. It wasn't double boss, it was the detonate totem.